Okay, class. Well, it is time to begin a new week. February 6th is the day, and it's, um, well, it'll be a different week. It's focusing on scheduling tools. So as we look in our content area, it's tools to help you stay organized. And you're going to be reading chapters 3 and 4 from the book on calendars and scheduling tools. So Google Calendar is uh, one of the ultimate tools for doing this, as well as Doodle and then you can book me as a new one that I'm adding into the course this year. But there are other scheduling tools out there as well. These are not all of the ones that are out there. So there are some presentations here that are already recorded about Google Calendar and Doodle. And uh, those are some how-to presentations. And then um, you can watch those as needed. And then what you're going to do for this week, your activity is to use Doodle or you can book me to schedule an event or time with a group of at least four other people. So have four other people do this scheduling of a time or an event. And then um, if you want, you can use our class to schedule this event. So you can include emails from people in our class or you can use people that you know outside of the class to schedule a time. But uh, to do this, you're going to go to Doodle or do the You Can Book Me, um, I, I should say. Um, go to the website instead of doodle.com because it might be the other website. And set up the event and then follow the directions. Send the link to your participants and have them indicate their availability. When they're done scheduling, post on the discussion board about your experience. What types of events might doodle or you can book me or another similar scheduling tool be used for and how might a tool like this save time for those involved? So you're going to just practice using this tool and then post an initial response by Thursday and respond to two other two more other two or more other students posts by the end of the week. So that's the work that you can do. Now as far as you can book me goes, you, there is a, there's a there's a cost version, but you should be able to do this for free to sign up. I need to log in actually. And as I sign in here with You Can Book Me, it's a different kind of tool. You can watch about Doodle and you can watch about um, Google Calendars, but this one's a little bit different. So you might want to say share bookings and uh, find out that there are none of those. So then you might set up a profile here and you might choose some times to make available to make yourself available to meet with people. So let's say I could set this up for my office hours. And then what it does is it actually sets up a link that I can send to people and it allows them to fill in the times that they are available or the times that they want to schedule to meet with me. So they can just go in and out of the times that I provided, they can select the time that they would want to come meet with me and book me for a certain amount of time. And once they do that, it sends me notification and they'll come in and meet with me. During that time, I can expect them to come. So that's You Can Book Me. There's actually a video if you have um, need for more instruction on this. There's a video you can watch and videos about how to use You Can Book Me as well as an additional tool to set this up. But you'll want to get started on this very soon, obviously, because um, it takes a few days to get people to respond to your You Can Book Me or Doodle um, poll that you have created. And again, these are tools to help you stay organized, to help you stay um, on top of things as far as scheduling an event. So that's what's going on this week in our class, and have a wonderful week.